Hello, hello, it's Katie White, and I want to share this perspective that I've been really working through with cravings, right? Like whether it's sugar cravings or salty cravings or crunchy cravings or like this desire to put food into your face, I want you to really ask yourself where that desire is coming from. Because what our body is doing is it's saying, hey, I need support, I'm looking for nutrients, I'm looking for something to fill this void within me. And so it is natural for us, and a lot of us is habit, right, to reach for the sweets, the I'm not even going to begin to name them because you know, you know your go-to, right? Or we reach for the salty or we reach for the crunchy or we reach for these things, right? And they're coping mechanisms. But all that does is self-sabotage us into actually achieving the thing that we want, right? And then we go do the thing, right? We, we, we can do one of two things. We can go do the thing and, and have indulge in the craving, right? And then we feel guilty and that just causes our bodies to get trapped into emotion and just sit there forever and ever. Um, or we don't, and then we still feel deprived, right? And maybe you've already overcome this and that's amazing. I'm so proud of you because share with us below how you overcame that habit, because it is something that I feel like I've had a good grasp on over my healing journey in the past, I don't know, seven freaking years. But there are seasons of it that it it gets away from me. And so I'm kind of in one of those seasons now where my stress level is super fucking ridiculously high and I'm finding myself having these intense cravings or I've started to work out more. And that is a way that my body working out is still stress to our body, right? Or emotional stress or mental stress, right? Or just doing the, the, the survival of everyday life, right? That is all stress that our body endures. And so that's why we crave things, right? Is because the stress just makes us want to fill those voids. So my point is when we can find ourselves in these seasons where we're reaching and we are grabbing something to fill those voids, we can, we can really just start to identify what our body is actually asking for, right? For me, for a long time, it used to be alcohol. I used to like go to that to numb out because I was tired of feeling, tired of feeling everything and I just wanted to numb out. And so now I do one of two things. I either go to a self-love practice because I know that my body is craving attention. It wants me to tune into those emotions instead of numbing them out because we need to remember emotions are just energy in motion and they take like 60 to 90 seconds if we just allow ourselves to feel them without creating some story attached to them, right? And so when we give them the space to be seen, because that's all that they really want, they go away. <laughs> um, and so I'll return to a self-love practice or I've started to make mocktails and find a way to put like seltzer and like pomegranate juice is one of my go-tos or um, something like without, I don't do sugar, right? I don't do cane sugar at all. So I, I have some certain things that I can mix together with mocktails. I can share recipes if that is, is, is of an interest to you. Um, or my other thing is sweets. Like, just give me all the fucking chocolate. Give me like fucking marshmallows and just candy, candy. Give me candy. <laughs> and so while I don't keep that in the house, it makes me feel that like, oh, but I really need it. And it and it's that deprivation and denying myself isn't something that I'm available for. So if a self-love practice does not help in that case, I have found like healthier options. There's bugs all flying around me. Um, healthier options to still fill those voids. But as I'm preparing this healthier option, like one lately, right now, oh my God, right now, my obsession is mug cakes. Okay, so really freaking simple. You mash up a banana, you put one egg in a mug, like mash it up in the mug, put an egg in it and then add protein powder. I have tried several different brands. They all taste the same to me and freaking like chocolate mug cake, put it in the microwave for like, I don't know, two, three minutes. Holy banana pants. That's from one of my kids shows. Anyway, <laughs> it's so good. Um, and it, and it's now giving me the protein, the fiber, the chocolate craving, right? And so as I'm making that, 
I am deeply appreciating the extra time that it's taking me to do this, right? Saying and, and reprogramming myself to say, I deserve this. I deserve a treat. I'm working myself really hard right now. And so I can slow down. I can take time out of this busy schedule to make this mug cake. That's going to take me an extra five minutes versus just opening the cabinet and trying to find something, right? And it actually fulfills me. And then it satisfi satisfies that hunger. I'm filling that void with something, but now I've changed the whole energy around it, right? I've changed the entire energy. There's no shame. There's no guilt, right? And, and it's, it's actually helping. So all this to say <laughs> is that when your body is stressed, it's telling you something. It's communicating. We so often go to food or, or I forgot the other one, we don't eat at all, which is starving ourselves, right? And that's not a good alternative either. So I encourage you to try other ways to fulfill yourself, to nourish yourself so that you're not depriving. You're not saying no to you because every time you do, it, it's going to hurt deeper. The stress is just going to keep spiking. And that's not what you want. You want to you wanna find ways that are going to practice self-love, practice this, practice this nourishment to you. So I hope this was helpful. I would love to know if you have overcome in certain seasons, even if it's not something that works for you currently, if you've overcome cravings and stress in other seasons of your life, share below in the comments what that is because it could help somebody else. And maybe it reminds you as this reflection to say, maybe I could try that again, right? Because reflection is so, so important. So I just wanted to share those little tidbits that were coming through as I walk through probably one of the most stressful seasons of my life right now. And, um, we all go through it. We all go through it. There's no one that's honestly perfected it. We just have found other ways to nourish ourselves when our bodies are asking. Okay. I love you all so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening to me and share below. I would love to hear. All right. I'll talk to you guys soon.